Hi and welcome to the Talking Myths Project, where we explore myths, legends, beliefs and traditions across the Indian subcontinent. Today's story comes from Goa, where we discover the Rakhno, also known as the Village Protector. This story is submitted by Vidya Kamat and narrated by Vince Costa. Every Wednesday I would accompany Thomas to the village boundary where the banyan tree was located. In our hands, a bottle of country liquor, a roti or bread made of husk, a preparation of meat and a small bottle of oil to light the lamp. Unlike other temples where there is an idol which is decorated with flowers and perfumes and the place is buzzing with devotees, this shrine was stark, empty and devoid of any decorations. However, there were signs that oil lamps were being lit regularly as dark soot had blackened the roots of the tree. In reality, there was no temple or a shrine or even an idol at the spot but just this huge tree with a hollow base which looked like it was the entrance into a tiny cave this happened every time i visited my grandparents house in salset goa thomas would light the lamp and then ask me to place the food and liquor at the base of the tree our offerings were always made after sunset before leaving we would fold our hands in reverence circle the tree once and quietly walk away without talking Thomas would warn me not to look behind. Curious about the entire proceedings, I once asked my granny, "For whom do we carry this food?" She said, "It is for our Rakhno." Rakhno in the language of the region means protector, a guardian spirit. For us, the Rakhno was a village spirit who protected all of us. We worshiped him, but at the same time feared him. No one knew how he looked. There were many opinions but everyone agreed on was that he had a fearsome gaze and that if you looked into his eyes you would either end up dead or crazy some said that he was a tall man who was dressed like a shepherd with a woolen shawl on his shoulders and a wooden staff while others believed that he had a sword rode a horse and always moved with a band of followers my mother had her own story of encountering the rakhno which i have written as i remember it once my friend and i went to the riverside to play which was away from the center of the town time passed fast as we had fun and rather late we realized that night was approaching quickly we were alone and the darkness made us afraid so we began to cry suddenly we heard a male voice calling out to us what are you two girls doing there so late in the evening his voice was rough and commanding frozen with fear we could not speak He rebuked us for being out so late and said he would drop us home. I will walk behind you he said. Now get moving he ordered. We clutched each other and began walking. We could hear the peculiar sounds of leather shoes marking the road behind us. He was probably carrying a wooden staff which he banged on the ground with every step that he took. His footsteps were very heavy so we assumed that he was a tall hefty man. We reached my friend's home and the sound of the staff stopped. in a gruff voice he asked my friend to run into her house don't look back he warned i realized i was all alone i could see the lights of my house in the distance and i began to run but my feet were getting heavy i was sweating and panting profusely and as soon as i stepped onto the doorway i collapsed i don't remember anything after that my granny believed that it was the rakhno who had safely brought her daughter home Since then she had set up this practice of sending food to this village deity every Wednesday. Thank you for listening. Talking Myths is a curated online archive of myths from across the Indian subcontinent. It provides a platform for anyone across the world who has a myth from the region to share and start a conversation around it. A Talking Myths project We're open to those who have an insight about how such myths came to be and the project is committed to building a repository of myths. that belong to the people of the region to read more stories and participate please visit talkingmyths.com